morning right. I break my arms. <laughs> Every evening I break my legs. I have glass bones and paper skin. I have insomnia, but sometimes the heart attacks put me to sleep at night. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> That's a great episode. Dude, that episode is like one of the, the top tier early comedies of my life. I still like the Krusty Krab pizza. The Krusty Krab pizza is the best pizza. It's not just a boulder. It's, it's a, a rock. rock. The pioneers used to ride these babies. Yeah. <laughs> Suck it. <laughs> That's brutal. Literally no one lives near us. I could not get a ride home. Dude, where do you even live? I live in Flower Mound. Woo! Man, All right. I'm like 45 Dude, minutes. Flomo. <laughs> Chill down. I could, I could, can I sleep here tonight? Just crawl under the desk. I'll just now. stay and commentate Shockwave and be like, I don't Good, perfect pivot thing. sad, smelly pooch. <laughs> I'll like slowly bathe with the, into with the sink. Oh, God. Yeah. Sponge bath. Okay, so at Super Bit Wars in, in February, I, I got housing in Oklahoma, right? Right. And their shower was weird because like you turned the faucet, like the, the like the part that like put water out to turn the shower on. I didn't know that. So and I woke up at like 5:30 in the morning because I like I do morning workouts and yeah. stuff. So I did my morning workout, and then I go to take a shower and it's like, no. <laughs> There's a different story that I can't tell about that on stream. Uh, <laughs> uh, I'm not getting back to the match. I'm finishing the story. <laughs> <laughs> All right. He wants me to, he wants All me right, to finish we'll, the match. All right. We'll do it in the break. We'll, we'll go back. All, All right. right. So Foxworthy having taken the first stock. Um, Fun fact about this matchup. Puff has no answer to dash dancing. She can throw back air, but, like, if you don't suck and you're, like, patient and it's not hungry box, Dude, if you just don't, fine. If you don't approach Puff and you just, like, laser camper and fast, look like a... Fast fall laser at her. Dude, you just look like a cool guy, you know, firing off the gun. You it's know, cool guy. <laughs> You've seen that, right? Hey, everybody! <laughs> <laughs> it's cool, guy! Oh, no. Dude, I can't get over that video. It's still funny to this day. It's been, like, nearly <laughs> 10 years since okay, it came that out. Okay, let me point out how bad that interaction was. You had a puff run up to a fox in grab range and then shield. And the fox is like, I'm going to full hop at him. <laughs> Not Let him know. <laughs> just like, up Ooh, throw, up throw, up and we'll kill here. Nah. Nah, bro. Gotta, gotta play the long game. Oh, all right, goes for the pound, goes for the forward smash. He's, he's just kind of throwing out moves here. I don't think he's looking at percents or anything. He's just kind of throwing stuff. All right. Fox uh, really very smartly just fading back and sliding down with the back air. Oh, grab. I kind of like how grounded this puff plays. Dude, Aspen is, like, I haven't seen him play before, actually, but for some, like, he, he plays a lot on the ground. I'm noticing. Like, like you said, like, he just kind of chills out there. He's totally willing to just wait it out. That's the thing, though. It's just like he's playing aggressive at early percents and then like slowing down when the fox gets to later percents. And it's like, no. Yeah, like you need so to you turn like up the aggression. Yeah. Pound. He could have gotten a jab reset there. You play carefully when they're in crouch percents. You play carefully when they can like muscle through oh. you and grab. All right. Nice. Getting up there with a fire fox. Taking some damage for it, but he manages to get back on stage. Smart stuff there by Aspen. Didn't oh. like. Okay. Didn't like what he chose to do there, where he burned all of his jumps to kill off the invincibility from Foxworthy. Because he burned all his jumps, but didn't move further in stage. So what he did was say, here's all of my resources. I'm giving them up. Also, you have the middle of the stage. Yeah, you have you have center stage. I'm, yeah. I have nothing that can get me away from this situation. Lord, Ooh. please take me now. Oh. Right, going for the tech chases there. Like, it's very doable with Puff. And he managed to get one. Oh. Yeah, that was a little bit uh, predictive instead of reactive. That's all right, though. Sometimes it's fun to do it for the reads. That also would have probably killed if it, if it landed. Yeah. Good dash tag puts him off, oh, and that's right, a stock. That's the game. Takes another Firefox, gets back up. He was about this percent last stock, and all it took was a you know, dare, Once dare again. straight to up smash. Yeah. Oh, there it is. <laughs> that was the same interaction. Run to the right side, burn all my jumps, get up smash. Yeah. That was silly. Like, coming down for Puff is just so risky. Yeah. Like, sure. Her dare isn't great. So, like, most of Fox's moves, particularly up tilt, just stuff it. I mean, that's the thing, too, is, like, when you see uh, Aspen do, do come down, he has, like, one or two jumps left, which uh, she has degenerative jumps, so yep. they get smaller as, as it goes on. And he comes, like, through the widest opening, where it's, like, the direct center. You want to come down where you're saying, I can potentially jump back to this platform and then punish your whiff. Yeah. Uh, and, you know, I think 
Aspen makes some good decisions and has some interesting gameplay, but realistically, he needs to sit down and kind of take some time to understand the, the use of platforms as Puff and how they play into stage control for the character. Yeah. Yeah, Foxworthy's just getting a lot of these, like, he'll, Aspen will come down from jump. He'll be in that vulnerable, like, landing state, you know, and he'll just yeah. run up and up smash. Yeah, that's the thing, too. It's just, like, we're seeing a lot of low aerials, and he's, like, landing with an aerial. It's just, like, that's more than four frames of, of landing lag, and you're going to get punished yeah. by Fox. Fox's up smash is frame seven. Yeah. And he doesn't mind if you hit him. He's, like, ah. Pff, yeah. And he's, like, it's like the hitbox is just yeah. there, even if you interrupt it. Backflips at you with an invincible head. What a jerk. Smacks him with your metal legs. Oh, falling up there there. Very Good smart guy. option, honestly. All right, now, the counter pick actually looking like Foxworthy's. Like, he's doing a very good job here. Yeah. He's playing the patience game, like, going in hard when he needs to. Good well, job. Go ahead. Yeah, it's a really solid job pressing that. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to say, uh, it, it comes back to this understanding of, like, how to come down and things like that. Uh, the, the idea of this stage is you get survivability from like weird trades where you get clipped by a back air or something as pub. Up smash isn't going to kill you that early, but it's still going to kill you. Oh yeah. So if you're falling on top of the up smash and you can't even crouch or anything like that, uh, y you know, you're not using the stage to its full potential. You want to be playing around the platforms, playing around the edge, where you're trading your aerials with his. Exactly. And uh, yeah, we're just not seeing that from Aspen's, Aspen's type of play. Dude, and definitely, I mean, like, Fox's up smash, like, you only get, like, around 20 to 30 extra percent livability yeah. as Puff here. I'm going to be like, honest with you. I think Fountain of Dreams or going back to Battlefield would have been a better counter pick based on Aspen's type of play. Yeah, because he, like, being able to work around the platforms and just being able to sort of stay low, like, it wouldn't be bad. Yeah. And here we see, you know, Fox really pulling out the gun, and Aspen's trying to search for an answer, but he's not really finding one. Ooh. That's what he wants. See, that's why he's staying in the middle. He's like, I want the up throw rest. Just give me the easy kill. Which is, yeah. you know, it's not wrong. But it's not wrong, but he's just tacking on so much percent with those lasers. Not to mention the DI from Foxworthy has been like, it's, oh, it's, it's incredible every time. Yeah, he he is not getting up throw rested. He does not want that. I mean, we're also not seeing any kind of mix-up. Because, like, it's also in the middle of the stage. We're not seeing anything like back throw mix-ups from the Puff 2 to, like, catch the DI. Yeah. Uh, you know, and that's that's another thing. It's yeah, just he's, like he's not changing up the game plan. He's not being consistently inconsistent. He's being altogether far too consistent. Yeah. So Fox really just anticipates. He's like, right, I'm gonna hold behind and oh, I'm gonna get away. Yep. Especially at these percents where it's like up throws not even that potent. Yeah. And I mean, yeah, he's gonna be able to jump out. Up throws not gonna do much. But Aspen's still playing like this is you know a Fox at zero percent. Oh wow. Right, Rando dash attack. It'll take it. I didn't get to finish my story. No. What you was it about? It was uh, you at Arlo in the shower. No, I, or you at Super Wars in the shower. Yeah, you're right. In Oklahoma. Right. Buffer roll back. Ooh, that was up smash, dude. Just up smash. You're Fox, dude. It doesn't matter if it's a sweet spot or not. It kills everywhere at all times. Man, and wow. reads the roll into the up air. All right. Man, hell yeah. Foxworthy looking. The clean. falling up airs, man. Dude, he. So. I was watching his match earlier, and he used this falling up air to adapt to situations a lot. So he's playing Sku, right? He knocked yeah. Sku into losers earlier. And so Sku would a lot of times approach with Nair and then immediately down smash. And so as soon as he realized that he was doing that a lot, he started doing take shield for Nair. Light shield. Yeah. Immediate short hop falling up. Mm, that's, how, that's how he won the set, actually. I would have gone into, like, Shield, light shield, and then like slide out punish like oh, yeah. up smash. That would be also really good because it just mixes up the DI. So, okay. And, like makes it harder for the L cancel. It's like, like uh, six in the, okay, I, I'm sorry. Six in the morning. Because Max is like, we got to go. So it's like six in the morning and I'm done with my workout. And um, I'm like in the shower now. I'm like in the bathroom or whatever. And like no one else is up. No yeah. one else is going to be up for like two or three hours. I'm like looking at this, this thing. I'm like, I turn the water on. I'm like, okay. And then I'm right, like, where the start. hell is like the, the pin or yeah, like the, the switch to turn it on in the shower? I'm like, what is this? And so I spend like 15 minutes looking at it. I'm just like, na I'm naked in a bathroom of someone's house who I don't know that yeah. well. I'm like, all right, I don't, I don't know. So I just climb into the tub 
like, and I'm just like under the thing, and I'm like washing my body for like, for like 20 minutes, and then <laughs> I was like, okay, whatever, I, I'm done, I'm clean. cleanish, I'm clean, and then I get out, and then <laughs> Ripple wakes up like 40 minutes later. And I tell him the story, he's like making fun of me, he's like, you're an idiot, you're stupid as hell. And he goes to the bathroom, <laughs> comes back 30 minutes later, he's like, I did the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like, I'm 5'10", Ripple is like 6'7". Are you serious, six. dude? So he's just like, I hear this Rip giant I 